I'm Jennifer Womet, Executive Vice President and General Counsel for NXP Semiconductor, a founding member of XTC. As a leading chip maker and global innovator, we believe in the power of technology and innovation to make a difference in our lives. We see our partnership with XTC as a critical incubator for furthering this belief and passion for technology that matters. And we need creative thinkers, entrepreneurs, startups, and the young innovators of tomorrow to take up this challenge with us. As part of the XTC ecosystem, I'm proud to witness firsthand companies who, like NXP, are driving toward the goal of creating a smarter, more inclusive, sustainable world. And today, I'm pleased to announce the winner of XTC 2021's Enabling Technology category is Dot Inc. Dot Inc. is the maker of the first tactile monitor that can enable STEM education, visual works, and games for the 285 million visually impaired people worldwide. Its proprietary technology innovations allow the visually impaired to have better access to information and therefore help to build a more inclusive society that includes greater access to economic opportunities for all. Congratulations to the Dotting team, and now please enjoy their pitch. Hi, I'm Eric, CEO of Dot. What if we live in the world without the monitor? It's very hard to imagine. But for 30 years, for 285 million visually impaired people needed a tactile monitor like this. But what's available right now is just a one line of a braille display. You can only read text line by line. And it cost more than $3,000 to $5,000. To make a full page screen, it was impossible to make it happen. For 30 years, there were so many fails and no one succeeded. So we created 10 times smaller, lighter, and cheaper deep technology with over 114 patents. And we created DotPad. DotPad gives the full opportunities to access all graphic materials, text, and braille to all ages of blind people. And this is like an ultimate technology that enables GUI with disruptive price, like a Macintosh. This is how worldwide method teaching STEM education for blind students is very, very manual. To change this, recently the US government selected us to digitalize every K-12 materials with a $30 million contract for four years. We are becoming the standard technology in this market. This technology enables more educations and jobs. We can enrich the generation. Right now, this market is like early PC or mobile industry. Even basic apps can create a worldwide impact. That's why right now, big tech giants are working with us to create their accessibility devices. Not just a display, that also has the strongest AI cloud to translate all text in braille and graphics to tactile display. $20 billion market opportunities ahead of us with the game-changing technologies. We are ready for the global scale-up right now. That is the team with top universities, global companies like Samsung, LG, and Nokia. We are enabling the generation with the disabilities. Thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation, Eric. It's nice to see you. Thank you very much. Let's Great, let's go to Regina for the first question. Eric, congratulations. Tell me a little bit more. Imagine that you met all the demand for the vision impaired market. This is a core technology now evolving. What other markets or products do you think could be enabled by it? Well, actually, you know, the blind market itself is big enough. For example, um, if we can provide only 10% of 185 million digital impaired population of this uh, tactile monitor, uh, it's already a $50 billion market. And actually, what we are focusing on right now is a young generation uh, about education so that we can have high LTV that the students can, the family with our technology, and when they grow up, they can keep using our technology with many applications. Great. Jerry, your question? Okay. 
Sorry, I thought you guys can unmute me. Um, congratulations, Eric. My question is, on, on the software side, you're producing this device. How, um, how much software are you building on top of your device before it can interface with more traditional software, or is this a stack that you have to develop all by yourself? Well, thank you very much for the great question, Jerry. Um, we have, you know, first of all, we have AI-based text and graphic translation engine that transfer data with the most accessible UI format to Bobcat. Um, with this right now, we're making ebook and textbook platform. Since the one making tech book takes two to three months, and we can make that in one minute with our AI engine. And with this AI engine API, we are collaborating with like app developers to make like first arcade games, product with the application on the top head already, they're working on it. And we will make this platform as a cost services for institutions like global schools, universities, museums, public libraries, government institutions, and individuals. It's already happening, and we're really excited that we can be the you know standard technology for it. Did you catch that last bit, Jerry? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Great. Uh, over to you, Yang. Great, Eric. I love uh, what you're working on. I'm most interested in the going to global market, given your technology really doesn't matter where the boundary or border is. So I'd like to be interested in your global expansion plan, given your Korean company. I know you're building international team. So tell us a little bit about how you want to go after. I know you also have one US project, which is very impressive. Well, yes, thank you very much for the great question to uh, Yao. Yeah. And, you know, going global is the most important topic for us because visually impaired people are everywhere uh, globally right now. So what we are focusing on right now is not just um, make an individual device for each government. We are collaborating with tech giants already. For example, like more than 150 million visually impaired people in G20 countries use smartphones. So if you work with a smartphone brand, because of our technology, you know, users of competitors need to change their smartphone and existing customers' loyalty will go up, for example. And suppose with our collaboration, like 10 million new visually impaired uh, customers change their smartphone, it's more than $10 billion. So that's the point that we are focusing on. Uh, we want to make more and more collaboration with big tech giants. And that actually, you know, enabling this generation more, you know, fulfilling apps, and I think that is the kind of key point to make more diverse jobs, diverse education, diverse applications. All right. Thank Any you. other questions for Eric? Great. Thank you, Eric from Dot Inc. Congratulations. Thank you very much.